Hey, yeah, what's going on guys? COD, uh, Earthmaster here. I almost said it. Earthmaster here, 8-23-2017, 3.09 p.m. Uh, just wanted to do a quick earthquake update video. I know I did one earlier on the live stream and for some reason that did not turn out uh, at all. So we'll go ahead and do a repeat one real quick. Uh, if you haven't noticed on the live stream, I have included a Yellowstone webcam up on the upper left hand corner of the screen. Uh, viewing the old Faithful, Ge Faithful Geyser area. A beautiful area. I've never been there. I do want to check it out one day. Um, but uh, definitely a crowd down there right now. And uh, it's a pretty cool feature. It was uh, definitely highly recommended and requested by quite a few people um, within the past few weeks here. So I went ahead and added it on there and removed the uh, earthquake ticker uh, from the USGS, which I had. Uh, since the, uh, the mods in this room do an excellent job of 24-7 coverage um, posting those earthquakes on the chat log anyway. So it's very beneficial um, to include something that people want to see and uh, by request, definitely highly requested, they wanted to see, uh, well, a webcam from Yellowstone region. So we went ahead and did that. I got the Earth, uh, Earthquake 3D globe to the right and also live earthquake data to the left. Um, which I'm going to keep like this for a little now, a little while now. And if there's any kind of updates or upgrades that you would like to see to the channel, please do not hesitate to send me a private message. Um, like I said, I am not a fear-mongering channel. You know, I could get on here and uh, post a title saying um, "Magma seen during the nighttime hours in Yellowstone webcam." You know, and then I'd have thousands of views. Yay! But I, I don't want to fear-monger on this channel, so. Most of you guys already know that. Uh, for the new people that have showed up, um, I don't like the fear mongering. I keep it factual data, factual information, and no clickbait. Uh, just because I may click uh, or I may put Yellowstone up in my video description, uh, you're not going to find any clickbait material uh, in disastrous type uh, headings. So it's just going to be factual data, factual information. Uh, that's what this channel is about. So, anyway, as far as earthquake activity goes, guys, it's fairly quiet, as I had mentioned earlier. A um, little bit of activity in California, uh, especially down Southern California region. Uh, you can see on the globe there, they did have quite a few earthquakes there. Uh, also, a 4.1 earthquake yesterday south of the Mammoth Lakes region there. Um, looks like now the most recent, a 2.7 being. Okay, now the most recent earthquake is this uh, 2.5 over in the Oklahoma region. Uh, they did have a 3.3 earthquake earlier today that uh, quite a few people felt there in the city of Edmond, Oklahoma. And uh, so yeah, definitely uh, some people felt that 3.3. Now most recent earthquake at 2.5. Uh, getting back to the California region, a little bit of activity in the Southern California region, as I mentioned. Um, that 4.1 occurred uh, yesterday near the city of uh, Torona, I think it's called, Torona. And uh, it was about, I think, six point, uh, about, about six miles below the surface there or so, not too deep. Actually, about 3.8 miles. There we go. I was looking on the map here. Um, let me show you guys real quick exactly what I am looking at. Uh, I got to get my shortcut hotkey working there, but uh, here's that 4.1 earthquake uh, that occurred near um, Trona, California. 3.8 kilometers below the surface there, and um, so yeah, that's the biggest one out there in California so far. Um, you know, within the last couple days there. Other activity, um, well, just some small ones. I mean, they may be active, but they're they're uh, it's, they're really minimal right now, which is kind of weird. Uh, continued earthquake activity in the geysers near Clear Lake, California. Now this is standard and it's always been this way. Just a hot springs that's out there that creates these small little micro earthquakes there. Um, so nothing of concern in that area. Um, far as the Long Valley 
Mammoth Lakes region goes, that too is on the quiet side. They did have a 2.7 earlier today. That being the biggest uh, today, that is. And earthquake activity appears to be declining at the moment within the Long Valley Supervolcano area. Now this here is the uh, Yellowstone National Park overview. Uh, right now, go ahead and click that and show you guys the update. Still, some activity, nothing of concern, nothing of major activity. But then again, each one of those little spikes, the red spikes and the little small blue ones are still uh, an earthquake, no matter how small they are, it's still registering an earthquake. So um, looking at this seismograph here, uh, the earthquake swarm is still continuing. But to be honest, it looks like it's declining. Uh, the activity has been in decline for the past couple days. So uh, it's very possible we may be seeing this earthquake swarm that's been ongoing for two months now finally come to an end in the Yellowstone National Park region. But I, you know, I'm not saying it is coming to an end, but I am saying that it's looking that way. Um, you know, all the factual data and the evidence uh, is not showing any signs of magma movement or uplift. Um, you know, it's just uh, right now some micro earthquakes occurring within the center of the epicenter, within the epicenter of the swarm area um, in Yellowstone National Park. So, uh, like I say, it just looks like it's calming down, folks. Uh, nothing, no other movement throughout the park. Uh, you're looking at stuff like this on this seismograph station here. This could be wind being picked up. Um, down here on this station, but uh, no earthquake activity, no magma movement, uh, you know, no no scary fear mongering type stuff going on here in Yellowstone. If I thought that was, if I thought there was actually a movement, magma movement, you would be hearing me say it, uh, being backed up by factual evidence. But right now, uh, it's looking a-ok, -okay, folks. Beautiful area to visit. Uh, like I said, I haven't been up there. I hope to one day. Uh, anyway, I'll quit rambling on. But uh, yeah, earthquake activity fairly m micro scale right now. If you haven't had a chance, please check out the live stream. We are up and running live stream right now, 24/7. Um, so yeah, come say hi. Like I say, no major activity at the moment stands out. I mean, there's no super deep earthquakes that I'm noticing. There was a 5.1 over here near Iraq uh, earlier, but uh, I'm not even going to pronounce the name of the town in Iraq, but uh, 5.1, eight miles below the surface. Uh, so a little bit of activity over there, but right now, pretty quiet folks. So We'll see what uh, see what the night and the next couple days has in store for for us there. But uh, all right, um, that'll be it for the earthquake update video. Like I say, once again, if you have any comments or any upgrade suggestions for the channel that you'd like to see added on, um, please send me a private message as that's the best way to get a hold of me here on YouTube. Um, I go through all my messages, including the spam ones just to make sure that uh, I get all those messages read and uh, none gets skipped. If for some reason I don't respond, it's because, um, well, I'm busy or I don't have any information in regards to that question you may have asked me. But either way, I read them all and um, I look forward to seeing some of you guys' uh, suggestions here for the channel as I'd like to see this channel move and progress towards, uh, towards the future. So, all right, have a good day, guys. We're out of here. Peace.